The Lord be with you. Easter worship is supposed to be focused on Jesus and the power of the resurrection. However, members of Emmanuel Southern Baptist Church in Wagoner, Oklahoma, got much more than they bargained for on Easter morning, 2009. Just before the services began, the Sunday school director, Marty Richardson, was walking around the sanctuary greeting visitors. As she took the hand of a young man, she collapsed. Everyone thought she had fainted. The young visitor motioned to his mother, a medical doctor, to come help. The doctor quickly realized that Marty was not breathing. Dr. Nancy Murphy was visiting the church on Easter with her extended family to hear her nephew preach the Easter sermon. Marty had fallen between the pews and it was impossible to get to her. The doctor asked for some help and some members were able to move the pews out of the way. Nancy dragged Marty out into the aisle where she determined that not only was she not breathing, but her heart had stopped beating. Immediately requesting someone to call 911, she asked if anyone knew CPR. Janine Lubier was tuning her guitar on the platform when she responded and assisted Nancy in administering CPR. The pastor met his wife Sally in the hall and she said she was on the way to call 911. The pastor ran ahead of his wife and made the call. As the CPR continued for more than 10 minutes, it became apparent to the doctor that Marty wasn't going to be revived. She later said that the, only a very small percentage of patients are revived by CPR, but that it is always worth doing. She called for all the children to be cleared from the sanctuary because she did not want them seeing a dead body uh, at the church on Easter. The pastor asked everyone to leave the sanctuary and to go to the fellowship hall and to pray for the situation. Sally was able to corral the members in the fellowship hall and they all began praying earnestly. That's when the power of God took over. As the, the doctor later described, almost as soon as the people began praying, Marty opened her eyes and took a deep gasp of air. I was never so surprised to see someone come back to life as I was her. Marty was taken by ambulance to St. Francis Hospital in Tulsa, about 45 minutes away. The doctors there found a blockage and inserted a stent. By the time the pastor was able to visit with her that evening, Marty was alert, smiling, and had even ordered meatloaf, chocolate cake, and iced tea for supper. As they sat there together talking about the events of the day, the pastor told her what else the doctor had said. She said that, as a doctor, she had zero expectations that Marty would be revived. As far as she was concerned, Marty had died on Easter Sunday. The doctor had concluded by saying there is only one way to explain what happened. It was a miracle. Marty and the pastor continued talking, even laughing about some of the things done and said during the crisis. The pastor said, Marty, you died this morning, but here we are laughing 
about death in the afternoon. What an awesome God we serve that we can laugh about death. And I already know what I am going to tell the church. Marty died Sunday morning, but she should be released from the hospital on Tuesday or Wednesday. The power of Easter, the power of the resurrection, the power of prayer, the power of the risen Lord, died in the morning, but laughing about death in the afternoon. Tell me, how great is our God? And you and I have the privilege to walk in such a powerful faith. I recently heard a young man say something that quickly got my attention. We need to learn how to speak life into people. We need to learn how to speak life into people. The person who said these words is an actor and director. We who call ourselves Christian could learn a lot from such wisdom. We are the ones who carry the word of life. We are the ones who bear the power of the resurrection, of new life, of abundant life. With only a word, God created the world. What can we do with the power of the word? One word of encouragement, one word of inspiration, one word of projecting confidence and love, one word of praise and thanksgiving, one word filled with resurrection power, one word, and we become witnesses to the resurrection. That's all it takes. One word, one word to speak life into people. Amen.